What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Phil Sneak YouTube channel and in today's video I'll be going through my 2023 AFL round 7 tips and predictions and obviously as well as that like we always do I'm going to be going back over my round 6 tips from last week and uh, seeing how I went. If you guys haven't already, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It really helped a lot. I've just surpassed 400 subs, so I'm on the road now to 500. Hopefully, I can hit uh, 500 uh, by the end of the year. I think that'll be the goal. Probably hit 500 by the end of the year. That'll also, remember to join my tipping comp. It will be down below in the description, uh, and it'll also be in the pinned comment as well. You know, if you want a chance to win a shout out and maybe even a sub from myself, then I click the link down below in the description and the pinned comment. Anyways, guys, without any other further ado, uh, let's get straight on into my round six tips from last week. So, looking back on my round six tips from last week. Um, um, I got a new high score, my highest score for 2023 so far. I got an 8 out of 9 for round 6 last week. Absolutely phenomenal. So stoked with that. My highest score so far um, in 2023. Uh, we'll quickly go back over the games from last week. Uh, it started off on the uh, on the Friday night this time. Uh, it was between Frio and the Bulldogs over in Perth. The Dogs absolutely uh, destroyed the Dockers um, almost from start to finish. Um, the Dogs were very uh, inaccurate early on uh, in the match, uh, but they were able to kick clear uh, when it mattered later on in the match. So, uh, yeah, got that tip correct there. Uh, the second game of the round uh, was at the Adelaide Oval between Port Adelaide and West Coast. And, uh, yeah, no problems there. Uh, Port Adelaide far too strong there for the Eagles. Um, over at Adelaide Oval, uh, so got that tip uh, correct there. Uh, next game at Monica Oval, we had the Giants taking on uh, the Lions. Um, not going to lie, I was actually really impressed uh, with the Giants in this match. They put up uh, quite a respectable effort against a, you know, a premiership and top four contending side uh, in the Lions. Ultimately, in the end, uh, Brisbane were just the strongest side in the end. Um, so yeah, uh, the, uh, the Lions got the job done there. Um, so got another tip there, correct. And then the next game, which was at uh, GMHBA Stadium between Geelong and Sydney. This was the one I got incorrect. I tipped Sydney in a bit of an upset over Geelong. The Cats, they look like they're finally finding their groove uh, in season 2023. They were far too strong for the Swans in this match. Uh, they ended up beating the Swans by more than they did in the grand final last year. So I think that just shows a lot. Um, so yeah, that was the tip I did get incorrect this week. Um, and then moving over to the rest of the matches, uh, I tipped uh, Adelaide to beat Hawthorne over in Utahs. And, geez, it didn't look very likely at one stage in that match. Uh, the Hawks were up by, I think, about 20-odd points. And then the Crows obviously came back uh, to hold on by three points. Uh, so I got that tip correct. And then I tipped uh, St. Kilda to beat Carlton. And uh, that was obviously correct as well. The Saints... You know, it was a good arm wrestle with the Blues uh, for about three quarters. And then, like I predicted, the Saints uh, ended up getting the better of the Blues uh, in the last quarter and a bit. Uh, so, yeah, got that tip correct. And then I tipped uh, Gold Coast to beat North Melbourne uh, over at Metricon. This one I wasn't sure about, you know, going into it. I thought, you know, North Melbourne could pull off an upset. But uh, nonetheless, the Suns got the job done there. And then um, on Anzac Day Eve, I actually went against my own team here. I tipped Melbourne to beat Richmond. Uh, you'll never ever see me tip against Richmond again unless it's a you know a really one-sided match. Like I've said, I was very very impressed uh, with the Tigers' performance uh, that on Monday night. Uh, you know we didn't look that bad. We actually looked half decent against a, a pretty good Melbourne outfit, uh, to be honest. Um, but ultimately the D's were too strong in the last quarter, uh, so I got that tip correct there. And then on Anzac Day, I tipped the Pies uh, to beat the Bombers. And again, this could have gone either way. The Bombers were looking very strong in the third quarter. But obviously, as we all know, the Pies uh, came back from 28 points down to win this one. And uh, yeah, got that tip correct. Um, so yeah, like I said, overall, 8 out of 9 for this week. Very, very happy uh, with um, you know that result. Obviously, like I said, best score so far in season 2023. Nonetheless, those were my round 6 tips. Now let's move on to my round 7 tips. Alrighty, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, round number 7. Um, but to kick off round 7 on the Friday night, we've got the Saints taking on the power uh, at Marvel Stadium. Um, very interesting clash, this one. Uh, the Saints have been coming off some really, really good form uh, despite their loss to Collingwood uh, a couple weeks ago on Gather Round. 
And, uh, well, the power, uh, well, they're coming in um, with some really good form as well. I think they've won three in a row now, Port Adelaide. They beat Sydney over in Sydney. Uh, they, who they beat? They beat the Bulldogs uh, in Gabba Round. And then they also uh, just destroyed West Coast. Um, all of those games, uh, except the Sydney game, are uh, being played at the Adelaide Oval. It's not out of the power's possibility that they could win this one. Um, however, I just think the Saints, you know, with it being at Marvel Stadium, uh, the Saints, they don't look like they've taken a step back. They look um, as strong as they've ever been uh, so far in, uh, this season. Look, like I said, I think the Power definitely could win this. I wouldn't rule it out. You know, they're quite an unpredictable side, Port Adelaide, um, especially away from home. Uh, but I think the Saints uh, should be able to get this one done. I know... The Saints haven't had the greatest record uh, against Port Adelaide over recent times. Um, I think the Saints should be too strong in this one. I think they'll just get a hold of the power. And I think they'll uh, they'll win it, you know, in a somewhat back and forth game. But I think the Saints, uh, they'll win this one uh, by 16 points. Now moving over to the Gabba, we have got the Lions taking on Fremantle. And, uh, well, I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty easy-ish tip. I think, you know, the Dockers have not been in great form so far in season 2023. They just got hammered by the Bulldogs uh, in uh, in Perth. Um, whereas Brisbane, like we've seen, you know, they've pretty much been unstoppable at the Gabba so far in season 2023. They took down Melbourne there. It should have been by more, but they only won by 11, I think. And then uh, they pretty much embarrassed uh, Collingwood, who look like the flag favourites at the moment. So um, I think it'd be a bit of a brave man uh, to go against Brisbane here in this one. So, uh, yeah, I think the Lions uh, should be winning this one. Um, although, I think it won't be a huge margin. I think the Lions uh, should be uh, should be pretty comfortable in this match. And uh, they should win this one, uh, you know what, somewhat comfortably. Uh, the Lions win this one by 27 points. Moving over to the SCG, we've got the Sydney Derby between the Swans and the Giants. Wowee, the Swans were embarrassed last week. They were absolutely embarrassed last week, the Swans. It was almost unbelievable, like, what I was watching. Like, I watched the Geelong-Sydney game. It was a completely different and unlike Sydney performance. I don't think I've ever seen Sydney perform like that for a very long time, apart from the grand final. Where's the Giants? Well, they've been somewhat uh, okay this year. The Giants, they've been sort of middle of the road. They've been in every game uh, they've played so far this year. The Giants, there's not really much to say about them. They've been pretty uh, good in all their matches so far this year. In fact, I can't remember a game where they actually got smashed. However, I think after last week, Sydney, they'll want to come out here and absolutely steamroll the Giants. I think Sydney should win, but I don't think it'll be a smashing because the Giants have been involved in every game uh, they've been involved in this year. But I think the Swans uh, should be too strong here and uh, they'll get the job done here by 18 points. Moving over to Marvel Stadium, we've got the Bulldogs taking on Hawthorne. Uh, now the Bulldogs, uh, well, they got a massive victory for their season last week. Uh, the Bulldogs, almost a season-saving win uh, over the Dockers uh, last week, pretty comfortably. Uh, like I said, they got the job done. Um, pretty comfortably, almost from start to finish, they looked the better side, the Doggies. Um, so that was really good to see, uh, and it's really good for their confidence. Where's Hawthorne? Well, they're a bit similar to uh, GWS. Uh, apart from a couple of smashings uh, early on in the year, you know, the last couple of weeks, they've been really, really competitive. Uh, they've only lost they only lost to Adelaide by three points, and I think they only lost to GWS uh, by two points. So they've been really, really competitive, the Hawks, the last couple of weeks. So good to see for their sake. I think... The Doggies will win this match. I think, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit more faith in the Dogs. Um, I think if they drop this match, then they're probably out of the finals contention for me. Uh, like I said, I'm starting to get a bit of trust back in the Dogs. I think they should be winning uh, this game against the Hawks. I think, you know, the second half, they'll start to run away with it. And I think the Dogs uh, will win this match. Uh, by, let's go, 22 points. Moving down now to the MCG, and, uh, well, I'm not sure we need to talk about this one. We've got Melbourne taking on North Melbourne um, here at the MCG. Um, now, I can see why the uh, the tipping is so one-sided in this match, 99% to 1%. Look, I don't think the Ds played their absolute best, it's fair to say, against Richmond. Uh, we looked pretty uh, bloody good for three quarters, um, but the Ds in the end just got a hold of us. Whereas North Melbourne... I'm not really sure what to make of them at the moment. They've um, they started the year really well. Uh, they started two and zip, 
And then ever since that uh, Hawthorne loss uh, in round three or whatever it was, um, they have not looked the same since. Uh, they got belted by Gold Coast last week. They lost to Carlton. You know, it was honourable, but they still got done in the end. Look, there's always a possibility of upsets. You never rule out upsets. Uh, but I think the Ds have to be winning this game. I think they are just the far stronger side. And if the Ds want to be taken seriously this year, then they need to put North Melbourne away for win. I think the Ds have to be winning this game. And I think they're just far superior than North Melbourne uh, so far this season. And I think uh, the Ds, they'll win this one very comfortably uh, by 57 points. Uh, moving over now to Optus Stadium. We've got West Coast taking on Carlton. Um, now the Blues... Um, well, they are not in a great patch of form at the moment, the Blues. They've had some frustrating games uh, the last couple of weeks, it's fair to say. I mean, they got absolutely belted by Adelaide um, from start to finish. And then, uh, especially in the second half, they looked a little bit slow against St Kilda. It was a little bit frustrating to watch um, for Carlton fans, I'm sure. Uh, but they're coming up against a West Coast side who um, haven't looked... That impressive, it's fair to say, uh, so far this year. I think they've still... Yeah, they've only got the one win, West Coast, so far this year. So, um, yeah, West Coast, it's not looking too good um, so far for them. I could see them, you know, taking it up to Carlton in this one. Look, it is at Optus Stadium, so you never know what can happen. Um, but I think if I'm going to be safe here, I think the Blues should get this one done. Uh, they're just looking a little bit better, even though they're formed probably doesn't suggest that. The Blues, I think they'll just be desperate uh, to get this win, especially after the last two weeks. They really want to come out and make a statement here, the Blues almost. They really actually need a bit of a big win uh, just to get their confidence back up uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, but I can see the Blues are uh, making a bit of a statement here and just, you know, reaffirming themselves uh, in that top eight race. Um, I think the Blues... Um, you know, it'll be a bit of an arm wrestle. I think West Coast will take it up to them, uh, but I think Carlton should uh, pull through in this one. And uh, the Blues, I think, will win this one by 28 points. Moving down now to the MCG, we've got the Bombers taking on the Cats. Um, and geez, how impressive were the Cats last week? They absolutely torched Sydney. Like, completely torched them. The Bombers, they have strung together some decent performances uh, themselves. Uh, they have... Um, well, they beat Melbourne pretty comfortably uh, at the Adelaide Oval and Gabba Round. And then they only just went down to Collingwood uh, on Anzac Day. They were looking pretty good, especially in the third quarter, um, the Bombers. So I am optimistic that the Bombers uh, could uh, do something pretty special this year. Um, they are looking pretty good so far, the Bombers. Look, if I had to go on upset, this is probably one I could see being an upset. The Bombers have played uh, great footy so far this year. Um, and Geelong, they've been up and down, but they look like they're starting to get their form back again. I think it's pretty hard to tip against Geelong here. I wouldn't mind seeing an upset, but I think Geelong um, will get this one done. I think this will also be a bit of an interesting match. I think the Bombers um, will take it up to them. I think... The Bombers are quite an underrated side, I think, so far this year. Look, they aren't looking too bad so far this uh, this year, the Bombers. Uh, so I could definitely see them uh, taking it up to the Cats in this one, and I think they will, but I think the Cats uh, should pull through in this one, and they should be too strong here. For the Bombers, uh, the MCG, I think the Cats uh, will win this one uh, by 17 points. Moving down now to Marvel Stadium, and this is the match I am very, very scared for. And if you remember last year's match when these two sides play, you will absolutely know why. Um, we've got Richmond taking on Gold Coast at Marvel Stadium. Now, I'm very uh, interested uh, why this game is at Marvel Stadium. Uh, I know as Richmond fans, we do hate to play at Marvel Stadium. Uh, even uh, Damon Hardwick hates playing at Marvel Stadium. I think this makes for a more interesting contest because it is at Marvel Stadium. I think it was at the G. I think you'd probably back us in. If it was, at Go if it was in Gold Coast, you're probably almost tipping Gold Coast. Uh, but I think because it's at Marvel, this is very interesting because both sides are not great at Marvel Stadium, it's fair to say. I can definitely see a Gold Coast upset on the cards here. Like, like I said, like remember last year, Richmond were the heavy favourites and Gold Coast pulled a massive upset uh, out of their ass. Um, I'm still scarred from that day, by the way, um, because I was there. So go watch the vlog if you haven't. After what I saw against Melbourne, as long as we bring that same intensity, I am confident we 
we have to beat Gold Coast here, surely. We can't lose to Gold Coast again. I think we've lost to Gold Coast two years in a row now. So, oh, surely we've got to beat Gold Coast here. Look, I said it uh, earlier on in the video, I'm not tipping against Richmond again and unless it's a really one-sided match. I think Richmond will win this match. It's a bit hard for me to say because, you know, I said that last year and look what happened. Um, yeah, I think Richmond have to get this one done, you know, if they want to stay alive in this season. I think Richmond will win this one uh, in a bit, it'll be a close game knowing us. Uh, Richmond win. Uh, this match uh, by 10 points. And the final game of the round, we have got the Crows taking on the Pies at Adelaide Oval. I'm not going to lie, uh, Adelaide uh, didn't look great against Hawthorne. You know, I know they haven't had a lot of luck uh, at Utah Stadium, but, you know, they, they just had to get the win in the end, and that's... Uh, what good sides do. They get the win, with how big or small it is. Whereas Collingwood, well, they almost... Well, they, they probably do look like the flag favourites right now, the Pies. Um, as much as that hurts me to say as a Richmond fan, they do look like the best side in the comp at the moment, Collingwood. Look, I think because it's an Adelaide Oval, I think this actually makes me lean towards Adelaide just because they've been so good there this year. But, geez, Collingwood have been impressive as well this year. They have looked... Pretty impressive, uh, the Pies. Look, I haven't gone an upset yet in this video, and I normally do tip upsets. So, if there was ever a game to do it, I think I'm going to do it here. I think I'm going to tip the Crows. This is a bit of a left field one. I think the Crows at Adelaide Oval, very, very hard to beat there. Obviously, we saw they smashed the Blues there. They probably should have beaten Richmond. But I'm going to be tipping Adelaide in this one as a bit of an upset, a bit of a bold call. Uh, I'm going to be tipping Adelaide to win this one. Uh, in a very close game, the Crows win this one by six points in an absolute thriller at the Adelaide Oval. Those were uh, my round my round seven tips uh, for 2023. Let's quickly go back over them. My upset of the week is the Crows to beat the Pies at the Adelaide Oval. Um, I've tipped Richmond over Gold Coast, praying we can get the job done over Gold Coast this time. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to that match or not. Uh, hopefully, I guess you'll know if there's a match they vlog out. Um, I've tipped Geelong to beat Essendon. I can see Essendon putting up a fight. I don't know if I can see them winning, but I can see them putting up a fight. I've tipped Carlton to beat West Coast. Um, I think the Blues should uh, get the job done there, even in Perth. Um, I've tipped Melbourne to beat North. Surely Melbourne have got to get that one done. Um, I've tipped the Bulldogs to beat uh, Hawthorne at Marvel Stadium. I think the Dogs um, should be winning that one. Um, and then I've tipped Sydney to beat GWS. I think Sydney are the stronger side in this one, and I think they should uh, beat GWS there. And then I've tipped Brisbane to beat Freo. I just think at the Gabba, the line should be too strong. And then I've tipped St Kilda to beat Port Adelaide by 16 points on the Friday night at Marvel Stadium. So those were my round seven tips, ladies and gentlemen. But before we go, as always, uh, make sure to join uh, my tipping comp. Link will be down below in the description. Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone here again. Uh, Marie T, still on top of the ladder. 39 correct tips so far. Um, this uh, this week, or, the, or so far this year, uh, he got a six uh, last week. Um, so yeah, pretty good stuff there. Darcy T got an eight, uh, currently on 38 correct tips. Christian also got an eight on 38 correct tips. Uh, ben P, I think, has climbed uh, the ladder a little bit there. I think he was a bit further down, or maybe a spot or two down last time. So it's good to see he's climbed the ladder. Uh, he's on 36 correct tips, also got an eight. Uh, congratulations to Maxi Talks. Uh, got a 9 out of 9. Um, great stuff from you there, Max. Uh, 35 correct tips so far for you, mate. Uh, Claudia, currently on 35 correct tips. Uh, got a 6 this week. Uh, Rick H, uh, 5 correct tips. Got 30, is on 35 correct tips as well. Uh, Shannon, got 7 this week and got 30 and is on 35. Um, I've climbed the ladder a little bit. I've overtaken Shilos. Um, I've got, obviously, like I said, I've got an 8, and then uh, 34 correct tips I'm currently on, tied with Shilos, who got a 7 this week, so unlucky, mate. Uh, but anyways, uh, Hugo got an 8, uh, is on 31 correct tips, and then Samuel D, who's still on the bottom, but got an 8, though, so good job, mate. Um, hopefully, he can get off the bottom soon. Uh, but yeah, shout out to everyone here in my tipping comp. Uh, thank you so much for joining the comp. If you want to join it, uh, link will be down below in the description and will also be in the pinned comment. So those were my round seven tips, ladies and gentlemen, and this is my comp ladder after six rounds. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Those were my round seven tips 
uh, for 2023. Uh, remember to comment down below your tips as always um, for this week coming. Uh, appreciate all the support uh, recently on the channel. It's uh, really been massive. Thank you so much again for 400 subs. Currently on the road now to 500. So if you could please hit the big red subscribe button down below, that would be much appreciated. Um, also remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and share with a mate if you think they would enjoy this video. Also remember, like I said, to join my tipping comp. Link will be down below in the description and it'll also be in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheese!